Texans in North Carolina can now enjoy speedy food delivery right to their homes within five minutes, thanks to Flytrex drones. This innovative service is the first of its kind in suburban areas. The round trip journey covers about eight kilometers, with the drones capable of reaching speeds up to 51 kilometers per hour, ensuring your coffee stays hot and your ice cream stays cold. It features 3G connectivity and integrates with a cloud-based backend to facilitate parcel delivery immediately after unpacking. Users can direct the drone via an Android or iOS app using GPS, allowing both sender and recipient to control its flight for smoother deliveries. CEO Yariv Bash envisions a future where drones like the Flytrek Sky play a significant role in enabling private entrepreneurs and individuals to access the skies. Although the drone lacks obstacle detection at present, this will be added through future firmware updates. Additionally, Flytrex plans to release an API for developers to create custom apps and games on its system. Bash notes that while consumer drone technology still has limitations in terms of flight time, improvements are being made. The smartphone revolution has made electronics for smart flying machines more affordable and accessible, but a strong back-end platform is necessary for real-time drone control. The Flytrek Sky is available for pre-order at $749, with a future retail price of $1,099. Many rural areas in Germany struggle with public transportation problems. Most people depend on cars because the few buses available are nearly empty, making them unprofitable. To address this, the Monocab OWL team is rethinking rail transportation. Given Germany's large railroad network, they propose using pods on the rails. Monocabs are small shuttles that use the two rails of reactivated railroad lines to provide public transportation in both directions. These shuttles operate on demand and with high frequency. The monocab concept earned the German Mobility Prize in 2018. As part of the monocab project, two prototypes of gyro-stabilized monorail vehicles are being developed and constructed. The project is funded by the Ministry of Transport of North Rhine-Westphalia and the European Fund for Regional Development. The aim is to scientifically prove the feasibility of the concept. Several institutions are involved in the project, including Technische Hochschule Ostwestfalen Lippe, the University of Applied Sciences Bielefeld, etc. The Institute for Energy Research plays a significant role in the project by researching mechanical design, aerodynamics, control engineering, simulation, drive technology, power electronics, and control software. Up to six employees and many students work in different project areas. The CYBI prosthesis is great because it fits kids as young as two years old and is very lightweight, weighing only 200 grams in some models. This prosthesis can handle heavy rain since it doesn't have complex electronics. Its touchscreen fingers let users operate smartphones, tablets, and other devices. Additionally, the CBI helps strengthen forearm and hand muscles. It is particularly suitable if a bionic prosthesis isn't the best option. This prosthesis does not require electricity, making it perfect for various activities without worry. The prosthetic hand functions through wrist movement with cables pulling the fingers together as the wrist bends. This design is straightforward and easy for children to master. With the CIBI prosthesis, you can comfortably perform daily tasks, such as handling items or washing produce. The prosthesis offers a range of design options, allowing you to customize the hand's appearance, including the colors of different parts. The creators of this VR simulator, a sphere from New Zealand, claim they are making the real world obsolete. With a diameter of about 2 meters, it helps you improve your skills in controlling various vehicles and has caught the interest of both civilian and military customers. A partnership with the New Zealand Defence Force has already been established. The sphere rotates 360 degrees at up to 180 degrees per second, and its mounting system allows you to easily transform the interior into a plane cockpit or an SUV cabin for training without risking expensive equipment. 
The idea for the Nova started as a weekend hobby project at the Wellington Makerspace, where Miller initially intended to create a helicopter hover training rig using VR headsets. The early prototype, described as super janky, was dark inside and powered by a car battery. Although the prototype was successful, it did experience some issues such as metal shavings causing damage to the computer. Eight 360 managed to raise enough funds to move the project out of a leaky garage and into a half office in a condemned building. Eventually, the Nova Phi 3 platform was completed and the company moved into a proper facility. The final product measures about 2 meters on each side and weighs less than 500 kilograms, making it portable and easy to transport using a pallet jack or shipping container. Many business owners dream of running fast food restaurants without staff. Now, thanks to Hyperfood Robotics, that dream has become a reality. The team has created a 12-meter container that turns into a fully equipped food outlet. The first one was set up for a Pizza Hut restaurant in Israel, producing 50 pizzas per hour while maintaining high quality. Udi Shamai, a seasoned veteran in the fast food industry, has a long history of building restaurants from the ground up. He previously served as CEO of Domino's Pizza Israel and currently owns Pizza Hut Israel. Shamai's latest venture, Hyperfood Robotics, introduces fully automated restaurant concepts that prepare food without any human intervention. The prototype uses two robotic arms, 120 sensors, and 20 AI-powered cameras to create pizzas with various dough, toppings, and side dishes. Shamai aims to address labor and food safety issues by selling hundreds of plug-and-play pizza concepts in the coming years. His goal is to partner with established brands, dark kitchen companies, and third-party platforms. Hyperfood Robotics is currently working on doubling production speed and increasing topping options. Additionally, it plans to expand into other food types like burgers, ice cream, and bowl food. The process requires minimal staffing for logistics and maintenance, with only a few technicians needed for multiple stores. Cleaning is automated using ozone water, eliminating the need for chemical cleaners.